Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to talk about a fun little game called Bite the Bullet. This is by Mega Cat Studios. Now this has you run, gun, and eat your way through a roguelike RPG shooter. So the description says, in a world where every enemy is edible, what you eat and how much you eat drives everything from your waistline to branching skill trees to weapon crafting. Shoot fast, eat big, satisfy your appetite. For destruction so it's a very zany uh contra clone i would say it's kind of like a contra clone it's a running gun you have these 16-bit neo retro gra graphics that are just insane there's sprites and stuff exploding everywhere and that's honestly what drove my attention to it was how fast paced the action looked uh it was um originally going to be on steam and then it was just recently announced to be coming to the nintendo switch so when i saw that i had a chance to check this game out i was like all right i'm there so yeah it's being touted as the world's first run and gun and eat because <laughs> the whole concept is you kill your enemies and you can also take the option to eat them and eating them gives you certain abilities and different power-ups so if you eat something that provides you with some strength you can unlock new abilities, special attacks, and even transform into like a powerful uh, creature called the Zombro that is used to smash foes. So there's up to four different character classes in this. There's a lot of roguelike elements, as I mentioned, which is uh, where some of the RPG elements come in, where you upgrade your character, you earn special abilities, and... Uh, it's very difficult, actually. Now, your character does have the basics. You know, you can shoot. Uh, there's a melee attack. You can upgrade your weapons. You can change out your weapons. There's a wall jump. And you have to avoid stage obstacles like pitfalls and toxic pits and spikes and different creatures that could fly in at you and stuff like that. So it's pretty standard as far as a retro game feel goes. If you've played any kind of retro video game, you could pretty much pick up and play um, bite the bullet now again what attracted me the most was the character design uh, in the game so yeah there's zombies robots giant mutant bosses different types of creatures and stuff the sprites look really really good now uh, it's it, I think the concept of being able to eat your enemies is actually really neat again each character actually has like if you look at the enemies there's kind of like a little card that comes up with nutritional information um, and some of them affect your avatar or your character in good ways or bad ways and you could be leveled up you know if you eat let's say multiple of the same uh, food based type of uh, enemy and stuff like that <laughs> you could become like uh, slaughter the soil or something like that so there's a lot of replay ability um, in this game uh with, with the way that it is and that's what a lot of roguelikes introduce and i like when rogue like games combine genres like you know you throw in the roguelike with a running gun or you throw in a roguelike with a tactical rpg which uh i covered one a while back ago called uh, other side this one does another genre that i like which is like the contra stuff and mismashes it together with something else and and again it was a lot of fun um there's also a lot of levels so if you're into this the level design isn't so much um linear like a contra game would be you know like most contra games you go from point a to point b just make your way through the level these have a lot of branching paths which to my you know knowledge there's over 60 of them in here and i would say they're they're not exactly metroidvania type of levels because there's not really much in way of backtracking even though you can go back and replay the levels but there's a lot of different ways that you could take on levels you can take branching paths you can go down like manholes or tubes or pipes and stuff and reach other areas that you never explored to find different ways to uh power up your characters and stuff so i thought that was cool there, there was more than just a basic arcade shooter when it comes to bite the bullet so I, it, again this was mega cat they make some pretty solid games in the past, like Coffee Crisis and stuff, and they're always pretty zany. Uh, again, the gruesome, old-school style pixel art that uh, this game provides with the enemy design and everything just really uh, gave it a little bit of that oomph that I like in my independent games. You can tell they put a lot of effort in here and that they're fans of these genres and stuff. Uh, it's like a cross of, like, if you took, like, uh, 
Contra with a little bit of like Metal Slug and <laughs> some roguelike elements. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, I, I thought this one would be one that you guys personally would like for me to talk about a little bit more. So to touch in, uh, I know I'm all over the place on this. Um, but, you know, again, the whole concept of chowing down on your enemies. Um, you can even eat bullets and other sorts of uh, scenery and stuff to power up your character, your weapons, your abilities. I thought that was actually a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it, it's very expansive. It's not just kind of simple. Again, there's like a food-based class system. You could shape and upgrade your character based on what you're eating and stuff. So you can play the game essentially different every time that you die. Um, and on top of that, there's a whole bunch of weapons to loot and upgrade and discover and stuff like that. And you can customize your character, your loadout. So there's a lot of replay value in this. If you're a fan of roguelikes, you're going to get some uh, decent play length out of this. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised that the game was a lot more in-depth than I thought. And again, it does have that pick-up-and-play aspect that I enjoy out of a lot of games. So Bite the Bullet, I would feel... Um, is definitely a must play for your Nintendo Switch if you want to get out there again. It's also out on PC and Xbox One, I believe. I do not think this is on PlayStation 4, so don't quote me on that. If you're a Sony pony, you're going to be missing out. Uh, but as far as Nintendo Switch indies go, I'm a big fan of that. Bite the Bullet is one of the most fun, addictive indie games I've played in quite some time on the Nintendo Switch. And if you're a retro gamer like myself with all my classic plastic behind me, you're going to like it. Uh, I, I think it's actually worth a, a look. So uh, I enjoy it. I'd, I'd probably give Bite the Bullet a, a, a solid 7.5 out of 10 if I was to say that. Just because there is a good amount of content for what the game is. Uh, don't let the, the fact that it's an indie game stir you anyway. Don't let it distract you from... From possibly having fun with it and stuff like that. I do think that it is definitely worth a look. And you know what, guys? That's it for today's video. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all for watching, for checking it out as always. Feel free to throw a subscription. Don't forget to leave a like. It'll help get the video out into your feeds and the algorithms. Appreciate it. We're marching on to 63.5 <laughs> subscribers. We're halfway to 64,000. Appreciate all the support, guys, and everything like that. Again, let me know your thoughts about this game. Comment down below, and enough of my rambling. I'll see you next time. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.